In this special Halloween video, you'll find out all about the Chinese hopping zombie vampires. We'll tell you all about their creepy history, superpower transformations, and most importantly, how to defeat them. All of this and more coming up in Demonic Beasts and How to Beat Them. The name translates to Stiff Corpse. Chinese Hopping Zombie Vampires. These vamps are noted for their long fingernails and hunger for human souls. And of course, their trademark hopping. They are a popular trope in Hong Kong cinema and are considered funny to many of today's generation, but they're feared by the elders. Some reckon that stories involving the Chinese hopping zombie vampires originate from southern China. Folks from here often traveled very far for work. But if they died while away, their spirit would not feel comfortable in a place that was not their home. So legend has it that Taoist priests would reanimate corpses via arcane magics to guide them home. It is said that the priests would ring bells to let townsfolk and villagers know they were passing through with the corpse in tow. And people quite rightly stayed well away from this. It is said that if the person took their own life or lived as an evildoer, then they shall return. Another belief is that necromancy can summon them from their crypt. But that's not all. Even something as simple as a leaping cat can cause the dead to rise. They hunger for a person's chi, that's their life force, or more simply, your soul. The more souls that they devour, the mightier they are. There are several different types of Chinese hopping zombie vampires. The recently deceased or an ancient corpse that has become a demon. The latter kind can transcend and become a powerful demonic wraith known as a Ba. This can transform into any creature it wants to and can also wipe out entire cities with the plague. Apparently, they're powerful enough to slay dragons. But there is another transformation beyond that. Yes, Miss Dorian. If the Ba subsists for thousands of years, it can reach the level of Demon King. At this level, it's practically in God mode. But those are very rare indeed. How to defeat them. Well, first up, you could try using a magical Chinese mirror. These defend against negative energy. But sometimes the mirror isn't strong enough. So what then? Well, an item made of wood from a peach tree should see you just fine. These are said to contain the power of the elements and can impede evil beings. But what if that doesn't do the trick? Well, then you're going to need some acupuncture needles and some special seeds. Legend has it that if you lace these needles with the seeds and hit just the right spot, then you are in the clear. But what if this doesn't work? A very simple solution is by holding your breath. This will temporarily halt the demon from getting at you. But you can't hold your breath forever, so what next? Well, you can stick some Taoist divinations to the head and that should immobilize them. Not got the magical paper charm to hand? Well, there is one other way to beat them, and that's via a good old-fashioned rooster call. And just like regular Western vampires, these soul suckers are very allergic to vitamin D. Thank you, Miss Dorian, for watching. We hope you enjoy this special. We are one year old and over 5,000 subscribers strong. We only upload once a week now. That way, we can focus on one topic and provide you longer videos that will supercharge your mythological know-how. But as always, this isn't goodbye. This is just until the next mythical video.